Half an hour to the start or the restart. A leg from Kinsale to Barra. Five knots of wind, I think, maybe. Four knots of wind. Sounds worse than five knots. Anyway, uh, I have a quick cup of tea and then uh, we'll get the main up. And uh, this is our start line right there. The uh, Borman boy heading of 270 off of there. And then looking back into Kinsale there, that is the force. I mean, it's quite a formidable structure, really. Beautiful place. Very busy with uh, lots of American tourists, generally just very busy. The edge is a few miles around the headland up there. So we're down by the fast net already. attention Uh, just flexing his muscles down there. He's a bit bored, so he's just wanting to put an exercise. Old head of Kinsale. Keep thinking the wind's on its way, but we're still rowing. Just assisting the, the boat, really. So we're up. Raw Bay and Seven Heads Bay just here where the sun is. We're gonna have a tough time of it. Just tacked in under the cliffs here to a uh, little puff of wind. Suddenly we're moving again. Need to uh, maybe hang on to the headlands or just scrape along the cliffs while the breeze is dropping off the land. They won't last for long. The Kinsale lifeboat come out and give us a little flyby. So we've got some birds on the rocks over here and just up there on the headland is somebody out cart aching that's going quicker than we are. So morning Matt, uh, where are we? Uh, good morning, uh, we're just coming up to the Raggedy Rock, the mighty fast net. Just been gently headed and headed for the last sort of 15 miles coming in here, and uh, we might make it past on this jive, but we might have to just jive. It's going to be very, very close.
There she is. Past that rock in scaffolding. Dodging the pots. Bit of a favourable tide with us here at the moment. Sure where this has quite come from. Something I saw about 14 knots of wind and doing 10 knots, so uh, they're looking about half five knots behind and seven knots ahead. So uh, I think we've got our own little wind right now, which means it probably won't last for very long. Sailing into our next hole shortly. That's the edge just up here, about 20 miles ahead. We're uh, <coughs> Approaching Great Skellig in the distance there, with the monastery on top of it. Last time we came past it was dark and it was all lit up. It looked quite awesome really. And we've got washerwoman rocks up there that Matt's getting excited about, seeing what the surf's like. What's this headland over here there, Matt? Yeah, it's just a beautiful long rolling Atlantic swell coming in. Somebody's having some good surf somewhere. The Irish coastline is just spectacular. It's sort of times 10 I think. Mm. I don't think it's just the way it's so hilly you know quite a long way back and what have you got for breakfast then? We've got for breakfast we got the, 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 the homage to our pauper days when we lived in Plymouth and we used to go to Captain Jasper's and we used to live off cheese and onion rolls which were 45 pence each and it was cheaper than cooking so that's what we're having this morning very nice. little birdies and we're just trying to get into this bit of wind. Group and Belladonna just around that corner about 10 miles back coming up at five knots. The edge is up there in the distance in the murk. So Matt do you want to tell the camera about uh, something's going to happen soon and be positive? <laughs> got to remain positive haven't you otherwise you're gonna cut your wrists um, yeah there's not a lot yes. going on out here it's pretty Harry Flatters um, but Briggsy who's about eight miles up in front of us he's clearly hooked up to something new and he's starting to move away now he's moving up to the northeast and sort of four knots so there's something going on. Just got to hope that we can get into that fairly shortly. Did you have the uh, fishing rod out earlier? Oh yes. Caught ourselves a bunch of dolphins. You caught Whales. some dolphins. Excellent. Some well, I see you've been busy in the galley all afternoon making oh, a yes. splendid Russell, myself up. fish pie. Unfortunately we didn't get two for 14 euros, we only settled for the one. Let's see how it turns out, shall we? Quarter to eight, Thursday evening. So just over 24 hours into this second leg. Got the edge, who's about 15 miles up ahead of us. He seems to have hooked in some new breeze. He's posting some nines and tens occasionally. We're just trying to clear Ishminik there, which is off of Dingle. Waiting for a bit of breeze change. Got a big 
big rolling swell, or not big, but you know, considering how flat it's been, calm, it's a fair old swell, and you can see it bounding up the rocks. Absolutely stunning scenery. Sun started to go down. So a couple of lobster pots. Hopefully we're not going to get tangled up in anything. Always a risk up here. I remember hearing a story of um, Anthony Bolch and Mark Gatehouse got tangled up in a fishing net and they were cutting themselves loose and the fishermen came charging after them and started firing with a shotgun at them. So uh, yeah, we'll keep our heads down I think. Bye bye. So we've got Tirait Island with its outlying rocks. There's that swell booming and crashing. I've seen a couple of go flying into the sky. Look at that lighthouse there. I mean, some poor guys had to build that. And I don't suppose they did it when there's a helicopter about. How on earth do you get up and down that cliff face? Matt's just gone down for a little snooze. The edge is off up there. 20 miles away now. He's doing 10 knots, so he's found something. than it has been, touching up to 20 knots. We've got um, Sueños and Belladonna about 40 miles back. Sueños is still parked up at the uh, Galway uh, point. Um, Belladonna looks like he's managed to break away. He's doing five knots but Rupert and Jack Daw, J39 are just doing sort of one knot. It's a horribly painful weather system, this one. I think we'll have a bit more pain ahead. Just waiting for a bit of a wind shift at the moment, and then we might tack across towards the back to the uh, island. So at the moment we're heading out at uh, an angle of 330, 340. Nearly four off. Or 1600 on Friday, the 8th of night, 2022. Just completed our tack, which we hope will take us straight to Barra. But it looks like Ireland is still our destination. We're off to Mullet. Evidently, they might have a new haircut for Max there. By the way things are going, you'll definitely be, you'll have enough hair to have one cut in by the time we get there. So, all pretty samey samey. Look, like they're doing their job. Just had a cup of tea and a slice of mum's cake, which was lovely. Yes, thanks mum. Right, so we've got 237 miles to go. So here we go, chef of the day. Yes, chef. So what's on the pan, chef? A bit of chilli. Okay. Nothing too adventurous. <laughs> Not making a chocolate soil to go with it or anything like that. Chocolate soil? We have got some or chocolate. Lots of foam. <laughs> well, perhaps you ought to uh, try a little harder then. Anyway, I'm sure, I'm sure it will be delightful. If I see a lobster, I'll bring it down for you. Just had some chilli con carnage for supper, courtesy of Matt. No need for Oriole's Choice of Music today. We've got our own on board. Cheers. 200 miles to go. Looking quite nice at the moment. We're just discussing when we might have our next park up. New 
clouds ahead, so who knows what they'll bring. Come and right now we're pointing straight there. Straight there. Straight Morris and Money in the bank Yeah. It's always a glorious day, isn't it? Always a glorious day. Well, here's the cloud that's on its way. Looks like there might be a bit more breeze. It's just got lifted a bit. It's quite fast moving. Saturday, 4:30. So I just uh, I went off watch. We um, sailed into a huge amount of cloud, but very ominous. You can see the daylight over the top of the sky as we approached it. Just this black wall hasn't developed into anything too nasty as yet. This creature up sat at about 100 degrees true true wind angle. Quite a nice little combination. This not quite matching wind speeds but uh, only half a knot off 142 miles to go to Barra oh, yeah. yep. all quiet really good morning Biffa how are you doing? Uh, morning oh yeah not too bad a little bit of a croaky throat still. Have you now? How, where, where did you manage to pick that up from? Well, who knows, but uh, it's certainly with me. I've been spraying it with some goo the last few days. Anyway, hoping that some Scottish ale might fix it. Ah, so when do you think the Scottish ale might be sliding down your throat then? Well, it seems that um, Saturday night is slipping away from us in Barra. You imagine it's the best last time there. It was an awesome party. The whole sort of town was out kicking around, and uh, I think you said the same thing when you. Well, were there. yeah, it was. Um, there was a massive Kaylee going on in somebody's house. Lots of dancing on the tables, and <laughs> yeah, I think they were obviously just enjoying it being light for a change. So I think it was about 100 miles or so. It's over 100 miles to go. Uh, yeah, we've got. Uh, I think it's 103, something like that, still to go. 103 and the speculation starts mounting about where are we? Are we forwards, backwards, sideways? We won't know until we get across the line. Well, hopefully we'll, we'll get a bit of reception 10 miles out and we'll get some idea then, won't we? Oh, do you like your bacon crispy, do you? Oh, yes. So what have we got going on there then? I think we'll have a turbo BLT. 73 to go. Dead down wind. Head down wind, got the shoot up. Worst places to be, I guess. Worst places to be. Are you gonna sing us a little sea shanty then, Matt? I don't know any enough words to string a shanty together. Well, what about just an old sailor's rhyme? A sailor's rhyme? Oh, it'll have to be my favorite one then. It'll have to be Pending Point to Lundy Light, A Sailor's Grave by Day or Night. About the North Coast of Portland. Oh. I like the old hands off cocks on socks in the morning gag. Not one for the audience, but there we go. Well, why not? Life at sea and all of that. Evening. Saturday night, I believe. It's Saturday night, and we're out here not joining in the party. I think we're looking at ETA of one o'clock something like that one in the morning but we might have a little friend to have a drink with the edge things are looking a little rosier right now but yes. it's still a snakes and ladders game anyway we've managed to find a usb stick that matt did the round britain race on in 2006 and he's reliving his youth he is Anyway, down below we've got a little surprise going on. 
Okay, this here's the galley, and there's no Oriel to be seen, no Daz to be seen. Got a little bit of chicken on the bone, so happy with a bit of this. Red Thai curry, I believe it might end up being. So we're just gonna let that bubble away. Always willing to hear some advice. Thanks, Oriel and Daz, for how I should be doing this. So, I think the edge is about. Twelve miles away. So here we have the uh, little surprise. Right. So it's the green chili, red chili taste test. Which do you think is going to be hotter today? No, you tell me. Well, I've done my test already, so I know. Green first. What, the red's going to be hotter, you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's pretty mild. That's pretty mild, you reckon? Yeah. Interesting. Actually, I thought the green was much hotter. Yeah. Uh, the red first, then the green. So yeah. Anyway, there we go. Oh. The Hissy Fit Chili Taste Test. Right. So did you say land ahoy? Say so land ahoy, me, me hearty. See the Hebrides. The Hebrides are on our way. Well. We're just about to stop for some supper, so we'll uh, drop the anchor. Nice steady platform for while we eat. I think it's the best bet. Let's go and have a look and see what we've got. Here it is. Nasty rice, as Oriel likes to call it. Superb. Scared there, didn't we? Well, very nearly. We stayed on the bottom island for the rest of the day. Big, big, big wind holes. If you get too close inshore, you have to take a jive out for about a mile. And the twinkly lights of Barra straight up there. We reckon that's the remembrance of the last party that'll probably be shut down by the time we get there. Still, I'm sure they'll offer us another one in. Oh. There's a little something there. Um, offer us another little, another party in four years' time. We're just going to get there on the Saturday night. And we've just managed to get some phone reception. And we see that Bernicestis is next up. He's about 40 miles back. Then Belladonna, he's about 50. And then Suanyos is about 75. They seem to be moving reasonably well. So Chris is heading towards the line. We've got. 6.99 miles well a little bit more to the line that's our waypoint but it's not over yet it's still up and down it's a tough tough on the mind this game i can tell you so many times you think yes that's it we've just managed to get away the breeze is filled only to be shut down again all right we just had a little blow from a well there's something underneath the water there as you can there it is oh there she oh goes. She's a whopper. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. Do we know what sort of whale that was then, Matt? A slinky, slinky malinky whale. So Chris is across the line. That's just sucking up a bit of data. We've got, type of media. Type of media. Get look, we've got Matt and his matey Sammy the Seal in the background there. Get on with it. Keep smiling, sunshine. Matt's taming the seals. We just finished rowing once again. 
tiny little Zephyr just managed and allow us to stop. We were around about two knots and then there's enough, enough breeze to give us 3.8. Got one and a half miles to go to the line, but there's a calm patch right there that we're about to sail into. So uh, managed to go across the line. 07, 04, 51 seconds. Certainly kept us warm for a bit, and now the glorious sandy beaches. But it's now raining. So we're going to squeeze in here. This is all full of rocks in here. Chris and Andy are probably already tucked up in their bed and breakfast. Over to Castle Bay. See the edge over there? He's already tied up. Here we have it. Little old castle, new marina. There's a little bolt hole just over there for the hurricanes. Have any Mike Butterfield's been in there before? We maybe have to talk to him about that. Sounds like we've got a bit of a storm brewing. So Matt, uh, on the dock. Where are you off to now? Uh, we're off to the Castle Bay Hotel. Go and get some breakfast. Breakfast. What a lovely idea. Morning, the Edgers. We were just coming to meet you for breakfast. How are we? We coming to meet you for breakfast. How is it across the seaweed? We'll just meet in the middle for seaweed then. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. It's covered in glass. It's a bit slippery, is it? Talking of slippery, how was your trip? Well, slow, wasn't it? Slow. Rowing at the start, rowing at the finish. That's the way we like Good it. Lad. You're actually... Are you rowing at the finish? Yeah. Three hours we had to row, uh, three miles we had to row for. we saw you rowing at. Absolutely shut down. We were trying to go everything. Buffalo Girls. We kept we dragging saw it out. You <laughs> the old Buffalo Girl around the Eventually outside, we had to come uh, back in. And as soon as we came in, it was just nothing. There's still no wind in there. <laughs> yeah. Now, we were yeah. lucky. Oh, you yeah. tell us about the breakfast up at the Castle Bay, lads. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Something to do with filling a mouldy old lady's hole. All right. <laughs> choice of Not holes. my words. Was, uh, <laughs> toad in the hole. But how is the gluten-free choice? <laughs> Don't get anyway, it. we'll cut this video right now, I think. Here they come. Bruce and Alison. Morning, how are we doing? Okay. Good trip? Good. Um, had its moments. Yeah. <laughs> how are you? Yeah, moments, like you say. Oh, that's what time did you get in? Thank you very much. Uh, uh, seven. Okay. A long, a long trip, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So you're thirsty then, Bruce, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I assumed you'd one. He knows, he, knows, he knows how to pour it as well. <laughs> Well, we've got all the sails out, so... Did he, did he sell you the boat based on the... Cheers. Cheers. Very good. That's right. That There's a video, this is moving pictures. You can yeah. actually <laughs> yeah. keep moving. <laughs> Here comes Rupert and Elliot. All the multi holes in. So, uh, how was your trip? It was good. It was long, very mixed. Some light weather, some uh, some nice flat weather, which is ideal for us. But uh, we had a good night last night. Oh, you go for some beer somewhere, did you? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> midnight midnight party on Belladon. So, um, Rupert and Elliot here. You were, where were you last with these guys? Uh, at the lighthouse, just no Skelligs. We were very close to them at Skelligs. Great they Skellig, are, uh, yeah. yeah. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? There, it's incredible. Well done, Elliot. How are we doing? Uh, good. We took the opportunity to explore Southwest Island. Nice and well, close. Uh, yeah. Beautiful <laughs> scenery, isn't it? Off that yeah. unpronounceable place on the 
12 hours for seven miles. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, but we saw saw Ben assessing it. See the way, so there were 70 miles away before we left. <laughs> well, Rupert. Okay, well done, guys. <laughs> Congratulations. Well done. Thanks. 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 Chris, I hear you got a proposal for the next race for the stopovers. The length of stopovers and the next race. A whole week. Do you think going to get more people doing the race? Yeah, that's the proposal on the floor. We'll ask John tonight, shall we? Do you think if the stopovers were a week long each, more people would do the race? So, Castle Bay Hotel and Bar. Heading off for a bit of food down there at the uh, Karak Hotel. Right, come on, multi old team. Happy to be here. Let's have a quick cheers. Hey. Put it in for the next leg. So we got. <laughs> 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 we got Matt.